Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another Bosch! <laughs> Drive well. Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm not the Taskmaster. I'm the Adam from the FWCI, and this is Taskmaster UK Season 11, Episode 2 The Lure of the Treacle Puppies. A lot to unpack in that little title there. Is he talking about actual little miniature doggo puppies, or is he talking about the, you know, Jerry the King Lawler WWF? Puppies, you know what I'm saying? And for those that are wondering just how British my upbringing was, my dad was very British and we always had a tin of treacle in our uh, pantry thing with all of our food. My old man would spread it on bread. Treacle on bread was, was like his late evening treat that he would have. So I know exactly what treacle is and I know exactly how nasty it can be. If you want early access to my Taskmaster reactions, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get it. You can also get full length reactions of everything from season nine onwards, including uh, New Zealand season two. So if you want to see my full reaction, uncut reaction to David Kareos and his, I'm gonna gonna drown you in your own blood. Leave your face down in your own blood now. That's where you can find it, it's at Patreon. Or you can go watch the edited version on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe here on YouTube as well. That definitely helps a lot. Help me get to 25,000 subscribers. I would appreciate that. Uh, also, the search to figure out where the hell I know Charlotte Ritchie from continues. I think maybe she just looks a lot like somebody that I've seen in something at some point, but somebody did tell me that she was, I don't know if she's uncredited or just an unnamed Slytherin student in the Harry Potter movies. Well, one of them anyway. So I'm gonna go try and track that down or something. But for those that have seen my Harry Potter reactions, you know that Slytherin is very close to my heart. Are we scared, Potter? Yeah? <laughs> So that just put Charlotte Ritchie's stock up a little bit more in my estimation. And honestly, her stock went up quite a bit, in my opinion, in the first episode of this season. She was very funny. Jamali was hilarious as well. He did not disappoint, and I went in with high hopes for him. It, not even about his uh, task attempts, but just his personality and the way he interacts with everybody just makes him a highlight so far. Wozniak has been very interesting. He's my early pick to win the whole thing. And Lee Mack, he's, he's been good. You know what, he, sometimes when I come in with a bit of background of, of the people, um, sometimes they don't live up to it. Like Katie Wicks, for example, like I was not expecting that kind of energy from her at all. But in this case, Lee Mack has definitely been Lee Mack <laughs> so far, but we've got nine more episodes, so let's jump in. This is Taskmaster UK, season 11, episode two, The Lure of the Treacle Puppies. <laughs> and one lucky winner will have my golden trophy and also will have destroyed their career and will never work in television again. <laughs> and like an obedient pup, enjoys lapping away at his own mess. It's little Whoa. Alex Horn! Well, at least you're not getting stuck into the military in this episode, Alex Horn. We know about your opinions. The category is the best drinking vessel. You know it. Oh, the best drinking vessel? To me, this one's pretty straightforward. The carton. It's convenient, it's quick, it annoys people. <laughs> when you're drinking out of the carton in a house where somebody doesn't want you to drink out of the carton, isn't it a little bit exciting? You're like, you know... Milk carton, lock it in. Personally, I'm pretty happy with that entry. Let's see how we go. I made a cup. <gasps> what? It was my what first doing, was try the... at w wood whittling. What? It ended up somewhere between that and a love spoon. There's right. a love spoon. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> the face, as you can clearly see, is your face. Um, the blood has been sanded off. <laughs> Are you counting it as a drinking vessel, Greg? Well, I suppose you can drink out of anything, can't you? Yeah, well, I don't know. You can't really get much of a drink out of that. Uh, my daughter had done pottery at school and it was a cup. There it is. Oh. Wow. Um, <laughs> so, Sarah, why did you bring this in? I mean, the thing is, it doesn't fulfill any of the functions of a cup, but I've just gone for razzle-dazzle here. <laughs> That's what you call it? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I just went by the rules of the show. Can I and, say uh, something? Your tone suggests this is going to be rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> rubbish, it's just, I just brought a plastic does, cup. does, doesn't it? Yep, you just brought a plastic cup. Jamali! You're like, oh, I'm going to bring in a shoe that sings. I'm not doing that shit no more. <laughs> I know what show you're doing, it's like whimsy and ah, oh, it's like, look, oh, it's a vessel and all this shit. I ain't doing it no more, all right? <laughs> Bye. Bit of razzmatazz. It's Simon yeah. Cowell's mug. Here it is. Oh, Simon. A mug off his table. And it's unfortunate because we keep giving it to the tree surgeon who's called Simon. What the fuck? But How often do you maybe... need a tree surgeon? Yeah. Pollarded annually, yeah? Not just me, is it? Pollarded? <laughs> nah, man. That's decent. I feel like the taskmaster would love that shit. So that when they drank it and picked it up, they'd be like, what's this? And they'd be conscripted into the Navy. So they designed glass underneath so that people could check their pints to check. Oh, really? That is very interesting. Charlotte, good work. Five points. It's a good price. You'd want it. You'd want it. It's a good price. It's a good price. Yes. Added historical information. <laughs> Everyone was so excited about that entrance, by the way. You know, at the end of the day, I have to give you my reaction as to the mug that I want least in my house. Okay. Yeah, well, it's Simon Cowell's mug. <laughs> and uh, the beautiful um, granddad tankard takes wow. it. I mean, I'm glad Charlotte won. She definitely deserved it. But I don't know if uh, Wozniak's spoon that he carved from a bigger spoon needs the uh, four points on that one. Make that balloon hover untethered for 20 seconds. Oh, okay. We saw something very similar to this uh, on the Australian season two, but they had to hover it between two things. Must not be higher than your chin. Oh, okay, we're and doing that. the bottom that. of the balloon must not be lower than your waist. Also, you must sneer throughout the 20 seconds. <laughs> Is that a Wozniak only task? Yep. Why? I don't understand why none of them saw the balloon. Make that balloon. Oh, it's the... <laughs> wow, Lee. Is that really the whole time, or did someone just do that? <laughs> Charlotte, you good with getting this thing... Oh, what are you... Why... You know what? Your house Slytherin, so... I got faith in you, Charlotte. She can't get a balloon off a clothesline. No, she can't. Two, Lee Mack hasn't got peripheral vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Oh, they all have to sneer, okay. Um, I don't know if that's hovering, but that's worth a shot. Oh, that's too heavy. <clears throat> so what's stopping him just getting a piece of string and attaching it to the string? Oh, it has to be untethered. Oh, And doing this outdoors seems a bit fucked. Oh, hang on. Is this COVID? Is there no lab in this one? And where did the dome go? Oh, you bugger! Lee! <laughs> no! Dumbledore's behind this, isn't he? Oh, you mean that balloon full of helium that flew into the sky? Yeah, I think we're getting that back. <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. Just let it go of it. Well, uh, what are you... Who's in there grinding machinery? If I go into, like, an airless area... Hey... Is it hovering? Yeah. We're being technical, that's, that's... I mean, why do you keep going back to these bamboo sticks, Jamali? Um, I would argue it. I can't wait to see what he says in the studio. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Did you take off someone's back? Yes. Okay. It's still, like, warm. Yeah, they were warm. <laughs> it's a warm jumper, I guess. I can't believe they all thought static electricity. Oh, I, I won't be able to take on Greg. He's awful. <laughs> Yeah. Are you sneering at the camera? <laughs> yes. Is that a sneer? That's a sneer. <laughs> it does look like he's fighting. Yeah, but as your assistant, you would know what the thing would. Yeah, I'm not allowed to have an opinion. All right. <laughs> I measure things. It's not bad gig. <laughs> Alex, are you going to call it? Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to call it. That's 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alex. Yeah. What's your job then? I'm to help him, not to help you. You got a little bit more 
aggressive now you sit next to Greg, isn't I it? I feel more comfortable. Okay. <laughs> Sarah did it in 21 minutes and 18 seconds. Yeah. That sounds like me. Whereas Jamali did it in four minutes and... <laughs> yeah. Good work, Jamali. You put in tons of effort there. As he does the school teacher jog. <laughs> okay, let's go. Sneering. Holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh my god. I don't think that was 20 seconds. I don't think it was 20 seconds either, but holy shit. <gasps> no, it went back down. Oh no, it's gone. <laughs> Let's go. Get up that fucking tree. <laughs> Ah, no fucking way. No way! One sneery sneer. <gasps> fucking genius! <laughs> and the sneer is on point as well. I am absolutely stunned by that. <laughs> I can't believe he got it back. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. Holy shit! That was astounding if you looked like the head of department from a local council <laughs> <laughs> just been fired <laughs> sort of greek dance greek Technique. dance <laughs> <laughs> greek, <laughs> greek <laughs> dance <laughs> and i it wasn't an intent this just it just it's just not really a plan <laughs> It was really sort of about halfway through the job that I didn't really know it was at the bottom. It could have been a mine shaft. It could have been. It could have been. That would be one hell of an ending to a dance. <laughs> Mike gets four points, but the winner with five points is Jamal. Oh, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. I think I would have just overruled and been like, Wozniak gets the five, Jamali gets the four. So Mike is in first place with eight points. Because Jamali's was borderline at best. And what better way to begin the bonding than with a lovely spat? Oh, team task. Did he say a spat as well? They're going to have an argument. Let's go. You have any phobias? Rats. And foam. Yeah, so cross that foam, like sponge, that dry sponge. And you're fine with flannels? Good with flannels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wozniak and Lee? Wasn't he Mac? Oh damn. Distance. Yeah, I, I've tied it in this type of knot so you can tie something easier to it. Coat, and then uh, shoes and laces. That's going to give us a bit of. Oh. Hi. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck do they think they were doing? <laughs> I have no laces no more. <laughs> he took all his laces out. <laughs> you must take it in turns to angrily make a point using no more than ten words. Okay. And you must always end your point with a different four-letter word. Holy shit, this is complex. Person speaking must angrily wag their finger during their speech. You know, but I mean, underneath it all, that might be a nasty piece of work. <laughs> is that right? Wasn't the act? Be four letters. Yeah. Think of a few of those. Hand. Ha -a -na -da. Yeah. <laughs> Off camera smuggery again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't know that shot. <laughs> there's another person. And then when he goes like, are you sure there's not a better way? <laughs> yeah. I've got feelings. <laughs> I've got feelings. Yeah, Alex, you're very antagonistic this season. You're going to get your comeuppance, you fool. Fool? Me? I'll give you your... Oh, this is just going to degenerate into an um, insult. You... Back and forth insults. Plum. <laughs> You've got a face like a duck. <laughs> You're talking tosh. I'll show you my cock. <laughs> Can I put it away? It's heavy oh, no. and huge. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, can I, I'm oh, they boo booed on the length of the word. He yeah. said subject and I, I lunged in. Oh, shilly shallying. <laughs> right, they did pretty good together. They did pretty good. But can I put it away? It's heavy and huge. It's heavy and huge. Thank you. So, I mean, I might be crass, but I know the rules. <laughs> 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 All right, so how the fuck is this going to work with the three of them, though? Is that you drive well? <laughs> Cop that, Jamali. For pointing that out, but I'm angry. Nice ring. <laughs> She's very complimentary for an argument. Angry, please. Going to stop. Never. 
will I stop that? <laughs> yeah, Can't. Nice, well, well done. <laughs> Am I going to oh, wait no. for town? <laughs> what? You're gonna end on that word? There's a will. I think that's more than 10 words, if you count them up. Why did you say town suddenly? <laughs> Town's like a slang word we use for... Whatever, Jamali, you can make it all of that up. <laughs> say nothing like, oh, it has to be on topic and you yeah. have to pick a subject. It's, it's... No, I just think it's common sense. <laughs> <laughs> we could have done a big list of rules, like, like, don't just say the word town for no reason. <laughs> you know, language is this that thing that's... Wasn't the act called Leah Plum? First argument was you drive quite well. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Wozniak and Lee get the dub on this one. These two absolute arguing legends to get five full points each. Whoa. Well done, what about the town team. A just point to be handed down. And two for the others. I think they they did the task. I mean, shit. Two feels a little bit harsh. Yeah. <sighs> Got it. Make the house haunted. Oh. Most haunted house wins. Oh, fuck yeah. Just gonna go and have a little rummage. A rummage? A rummage. <laughs> okay. He is such a school teacher. Everything about him is just like high school geography teacher. Isn't that what he said? It's so accurate. White sheet and a dead person. Oh, okay. Big long string. A lot of big string. You see the amount of string that you was going to get? Mm -hmm. More string. Times it by two? <laughs> Three. Wow. That's a lot of string. Tell me when you got the string. I'll give you an A lot of string. Okay, bye bye. All right. <laughs> Jamali's so funny. <laughs> oh. What? The, the spookiest request of them all. <laughs> Some big, scary string. <laughs> <laughs> so big. Yeah, you told big now, Greg. Oh, I'm Greg Davis, I need some string. Oh, oh, yeah. Jamali's boy all. All your thoughts start with, I'm Greg Davis, and then you have the thought. <laughs> okay, Charlotte, what is going on? Boo. <laughs> it's not me. Why the fuck do I love that one so much? Like the Wizard of Oz under there. Okay, well, because I thought that was you in the I chair. Did as well. you... Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Hadn't flown out by itself that she'd. You stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see Jamali's. It's bone chilling already. Honestly, I see where what he's going for here, and this would have taken some effort. Wow, Alex Horn, your hair's looking. Fucking grey there, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, it turned out better than I expected. You didn't know how that shit would mean, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Defend it, Jamali, go to, go to town. Oh, he's like, um... The Shining, isn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Are we gonna get two Sarah Kendalls at the end of the hallway? <laughs> Forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Alright, Alex, that was pretty bad acting at the end there. It creeped me out more than two cabbages. Wow. That's very, thank you. That's wow. the kindest wow. review I've ever had. Wow. You're making big statements for no reason, I him. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, little Alex Horn. Fucking hell, was the actual puppy good puppy is covered in treacle. <laughs> that's the puppy is covered in treacle? <laughs> that was pretty fucking awesome. I think there is two things, though. People famously say, come and see some puppies, and they say, come and see some treacle. Yeah. <laughs> Mike was determined, by the way. <laughs> That I would be cut in two like he was cut in two, and he called it being hemisected. Hemisect. It's a word. It's a real word. Is it? I'll ask my partner. She loves true crime. If anyone will know if hemisect is a word, it'll be her. That was overridden by the... Lure of the treacle puppies. The lure of the treacle-covered puppies. <laughs> it's final Lee. 
Lee's looking pretty smug. What do you got? I don't think so. Okay. What time? I'm ah! Just checking. <laughs> With the aid of my Ouija board, exactly what happened that night. Oh, Amy! <laughs> are you there, Amy? Amy, are you there? Give us a sign if you are there. <laughs> he looks like a shyster from, like, cowboy days. <laughs> I'm no more of a psychic than, than you. So, would you, would you accept my apology? Alex didn't even flinch at that. What are you doing? It's not me. I've set okay. it up. We got away with it. <laughs> well done. Well done. Very creative. This is going to be hard to score. Jamali won. <laughs> no, maybe not. I thought they were all really good, so no one is going to get one spooky point. Yeah, that's fair. Four points to Lee Mack and Mike Wozniak, right? But by far the most atmospheric and spooky, five points, <laughs> Sarah. Well done, Sarah Kendall. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I have no criticism on scoring that because they were all really fucking good. Yeah, Wozniak is just destroying everybody. Then you must hold the number that reflects your standing in the group. Ah, that's confusing as fuck. What do you mean? Oldest contestant. If that was the category, obviously, Lee would put up one, and then the rest of you would guess your ages in the group as well. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, I get it now. Most pints of milk drunk per month. We asked all of you before the show to Ooh. state how many pints of milk per month you drink. So Wozniak loves his milk, and that's what I'm getting from that. <laughs> Your instinct tells me you guzzle the stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm an absolute bloody milk guzzler. <laughs> straight out of the fucking, uh, straight out of the, um, the carton. 37 pints of milk per month. What? Like serious? Fucking hell. You have a pint a day? I have more than a pint a day, I'm sure of it, yeah. What are you, a calf? <laughs> it's also drunk meat. <laughs> meat? <Neat milk. laughs> yeah. Is that not normal to drink just milk by itself? Then it goes Jamali third with five. He gets the point here. <laughs> My God, he drinks so much more than everybody else. <laughs> fewest phone contacts. Oh. Yeah, fewest one friends, fewest. number one. Yeah. With the fewest friends, it's Jamali with 150. Oh. Sarah, you're correct. I'm kind of shocked at that. You think social media? contacts with 3,065 in his phone. <laughs> yeah, but the problem yeah, is, is my that. phone sort of... But, no, I'm trying to... I'm very popular. <laughs> Most frequent washing of towels per month. <sighs> what the fuck? Charlotte's immediately like, I wash the shit out of my towels. They all think they're up there. Who's going to be the lowest? Mike, you do get a point because you only wash them once a month. Yes. Absolute Absolute scum. <laughs> yes, we asked them how many eggs they think they can hold in one hand. Mm, Jamali number one. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Who do you think holds fewer eggs than you? You don't have to answer that. As your attorney, you don't have to answer that. Answer that. <laughs> I don't know why. I think Lee Mack can hold the most eggs. Well, I'll tell you that Jamali can hold 12 eggs in his hands. That's Lee Mack can hold 17 so eggs. What? Get the five points. After that, Mike and Sarah came in second. They got two things right each. Is Sarah get another win? He won it with 21 points! Wow. Yeah, he blew everybody else out of the water. He is killing it. What are they going to do to nerf Wozniak? Are they going to, like, start really fucking him over in the, uh, the scores? And 50% of those cows are feeding Mike Wozniak's milk habit. So what we've learned today is that Mike Wozniak... Why does he drink so much? I mean, I love milk. I have it neat. And now has more vessels to fill with milky goodness. <laughs> <laughs> he is pretty goddamn hilarious. All right, holy shit. This episode was absolutely unbelievable. That, all right, we'll talk about the balloon one in a second because fuck me. All right, uh, the, first one, uh, the first task we had was the uh, drinking vessel task. I loved Charlotte's entrance into that. There was so much history behind it. It was genuinely interesting. It looked very cool. Like, that was like, is that maybe the perfect prize task, like, suggestion kind of thing? The balloon task. Oh my god. So yeah, they did that in the second season of Taskmaster Australia and uh, they did it indoors and they actually set up like flags that it had to stay in between. But uh, that was kind of, uh, I, I wasn't a huge fan of the Aussie one, but Wozniak 
<laughs> what the hell, man? I, I am so impressed. The, the fact that, first of all, he was able to track it down and bring it back and then go ahead. And he should have won that task. He should have won it over Jamali. I love Jamali, but I don't think his was hovering. I think his was lodged because he said it's not Tevin. It's lodged in it, but it's also not hovering. So it's neither. Wozniak definitely got screwed on that. Not that it matters because he is just leaving everybody else in the dust as it is anyway. I didn't mind the argument task. Lee and Mike Wozniak definitely uh, did the better argument between the two of them, but that's a very interesting thing to have them do. I feel like the other team kind of screwed it a little bit, but they still stayed within the rules. So I think, again, I think they got um, scored a little bit too low on that one. Wozniak called uh, Lee Mack a plum. Let's not forget about that. Make the house haunted, a very creative idea. I thought it was gonna have to be more like um, Alex Horn walks through the house and shit goes on, like what he was, like, like what, um, what's his name did. Uh, but the ones that had a little bit of camera fuckery definitely were more entertaining on that one. Lee Max was hilarious. He was, that was so absurd. He looked like a 1800s. Um, you know, snake oil salesman trying to convince people that he could talk to the dead. Jamali and his sinister string was also pretty funny. I liked, they all did great on that. That was just a really well um, approached task from everybody. So five points, should have been five points to all. Nah, not really. And then at the end, we got the one where they had to guess what order they would be in with certain categories, which very, very fun. Very complex to explain, but really fun once the it actually got going. Learned a lot about them. What the hell was that? Why do you drink so much milk? I love milk, but you are... That's a lot. Your bones must be rock hard, my friend. But that's Taskmaster Season 11 Episode 2. Wow, yeah, that that display by Wozniak was something for the ages. That is going to stand out to me. I don't know what it is about that particular achievement that he did there, but I am just floored by what I saw in that one. That was crazy. And if you do want to watch a full-length version of this one, patreon.com slash fwci is where you can get it. You also get early access. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube as well. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, ta-ta, and farewell.